Okay, g'day guys. Um, so Dr. James here from Vet Dojo, and we're here with uh, one of our surgical residents, Ewan. And we have a patient here that's going to have a TPLO, and I just wanted to go through something a bit different with you and just show you how we do our um, sterile leg prep. And this can be appropriate for a back leg or a front leg, and something where we've basically wrapped a um, bandage around the foot and we've prepped the leg in a sterile fashion, and then we're going to come in and actually prepare um, our drapes and get this patient prepared for surgery. So. What we've done in this case, um, we have got a leg positioning device. This thing here is a um, jig that we use for the arthroscopy for the knee. Um, but in some of these cases, you could actually have a, um, a towel clamp attached to the foot and have this hanging from the, the ceiling or from a, a drip stand or something like that. And then we can actually do our final prep um, of the leg with our chlorhexidine alcohol um, on that leg. So once we're into surgery, um, we have done that final prep and everything's dried, we do apply our quarter drapes. So that's what Ewan is doing at the moment. So these are small adhesive drapes and there's basically four of them and they go around each um, kind of side of the limb. Um, we're just gonna get this last one on. And Ewan's just taking care to not um, kind of contaminate himself or um, the drapes as we're going. You'll notice here as well that we have got um, just there um, some vet wrap over the tail. This is a border collie, so this is all just about trying to minimise how much hair and stuff like that is floating around the operating room. We then have sterile vet wrap um, that we're going to wrap around the foot. And so with this foot preparation, we have got a glove on the foot first up, and then we've got non-sterile vet wrap um, as the next layer. And then once we're in surgery, we do um, a sterile vet wrap over the top of that. Some people do like to put a waterproof barrier there. Um, I do that when I'm doing things like hip replacements. So I don't stress about it too much when we're doing um, a TPLO. We have got a waterproof barrier on the foot, um, which is the glove as the, as the first layer. So we do a couple of wraps around the foot. No pressure, you and you've got to make this look nice. Um, with our sterile vet wrap. And then once that's done, we can then put our final quarter drapes on and then the last drape that we'll put on is actually um, our patient drape. And you'll notice here this dog is actually positioned on its back and then we have our surgical table actually sitting over the top of the dog that you can see there. And that makes it easier when we're standing at the back of the dog here, we can then reach forward and grab all the instruments that we need off the, off the table that's just there. So when we do prepare these dogs for surgery, doing our aseptic um, prep of the skin, we clip these guys um, once they're induced. Um, and then we do a couple of preps in the treatment area or the preparation area. So we use um, chlorhexidine and then alcohol, and then we use a combination of chlorhexidine and alcohol together. That combination that we use is um, this product here. It comes prepared for us. Um, and so it's chlorhexidine and alcohol. I'll try and get that in focus for you. Um, so chlorhexidine at those concentrations. And so we use that once out in the treatment area, and then we do it again once we actually get into the operating room. So Ewan has got our table drape there, he's cut a hole in it, and now we're gonna get organized to get that over the leg, um, recognizing that we have got our sterile vet wrap bandage on the leg just there. So sometimes it takes a couple of pairs of hands, we might hand off part of this to Jess, our nurse. So just grabbing the very edge of the drape there. Just slide it up over the leg. And the goal of this, if we're gonna um, use an, an incised drape like we are in this case, like a eye band drape is for the surgeon not to actually touch the skin or to really minimize how much he touches the skin. So you can see we've got that um, patient drape that's kind of sitting fairly snug around the patient's leg there. and that's gonna keep everything on there nice and tight. Um, so I've just noticed that we actually didn't put towel clamps on that dog's leg initially, and that's not a big issue in this case. Um, those drapes are adhesive, so they do stick. Towel clamps do help to help um, keep the drapes attached to the dog. But with the way that Ewan's done this, with this drape being so snug around the leg, and then the final step that we're gonna do is actually put an eye band dressing on this leg. It's gonna duck around this side so we can see that. So we're gonna use an eye band um, or a, a yeah, eye band incised drape. So it's impregnated with iodine and this is gonna stick on the skin as well. So this is the final step that we do. And we do this not for every surgery, but for TPLOs and hip replacements in cases where we're worried about sterility. 
and making sure we don't get infection. So a couple of different ways to do this. It takes a bit of practice to get it right, but we want to make sure that we have the fewest number of um, wrinkles and creases where we're going to make our incision. Once we've got past the point where the incision is, it doesn't matter too much, but right over the medial aspect of this tibia, you know, it's pulling that um, nice and snug so it creates a, um, a nice contact surface and, and the glues are able to adhere to the skin nice and well. Interestingly, the adhesive seems to work better with pressure. So once we've got it on there, we kind of stretch it as we put it on and then apply some pressure onto that area to make sure that the inside drape is going to sit nice and tight. And then that patient drape, as you can see, does extend up onto the back table, um, which is over the dog. And then we can put all of our instruments on top of that. So that is the preparation. That's how we get these guys ready for surgery. Um, thought that might be something a bit different, a bit interesting for you guys, give you some ideas for how you might be able to get your patients prepped in your own surgery. So hope you have a good day. Talk to you soon.